Hi YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about Aveeno's Sensitive Skin Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. This is what it looks like. This contains 88 milliliters of product in this tube and it is 100% zinc oxide sunscreen, so it's mineral sunscreen. It claims to be fragrance free, however, it does have fragrance in it in the form of feverfew flower. A few good ingredients that I would like to point out besides zinc oxide is dimethicone, which is an occlusive. It has glycerin and colloidal oatmeal. So I do think that this is intended to be a good product and it claims to be 80 minutes sweat and water resistant so I can see why this would be a good option for those who want who have dry skin and uh, sensitive skin however my experience was very different it, it felt very heavy on my skin it felt very greasy also if you apply the recommended amount it was it was just too much on my face and it would transfer onto my clothing. So say I wore a shirt, after I applied my sunscreen and I put a shirt or a sweater or a hoodie on top, it would definitely get onto the clothing. So it's not transfer resistant. Also this has, because it has like 21, 21.6% zinc oxide, it's, it has a very disfiguring white cast. It doesn't look so bad in person, but let me just try to blend it in. Yep. So it doesn't look too bad. However, I do think that the white cast in here is enough for me to discourage wearing this outdoors. So I only wear it indoors. I purchased this item for I believe $14 so it was a packet of two and it had the chemical sunscreen version that is SPF 60 or 30 which I gave to my brother and I took this one uh, and that one um, was so it was two items for $14 each so I believe it was $28 from Shoppers Drug Mart plus tax uh, the texture, you know, it is moisturizing, however, uh, because I have, uh, because I, because my skincare routine is not as minimalistic as it can be, but as minimalistic as I choose to be, so I still have other products that I'm using before I go on with my sunscreen, this feels like there is just too much on my skin so i would prefer using a sunscreen that was a little bit more lightweight so that i could keep layering it throughout the day without feeling heavy i like that this has zinc oxide as the only chemical filter because i think that titanium dioxide gives me a very purplish hue this is at a very high concentration so it does give me a white cast anyway however Zinc oxide covers a larger spectrum of UVA than titanium dioxide does, so I do prefer this over the Aven uh, titanium mineral only sunscreen that's also in a tube form that I did a review for. I'll link it in the information box. I prefer this over the other one only because that one's just way too difficult to work with. I mean, if I were to use this on a day that I am canoeing or outdoors and I don't care how I look because sun protection is more important to me, I would use this. However, I would have to reapply just because it is, I just feel like it doesn't really stay. Other than that, I really don't have too many complaints. At the end of the day, after I finish this product, I would not be repurchasing the sunscreen. I found other sunscreens that work really well for me. I will be finishing up this sunscreen 
when I know that I'm not going to go outdoors or when I know that I'll be outdoors doing activities that won't necessarily allow me to have a chance to reapply my sunscreen uh, at my convenience and when I don't care about how I look. So not too bad but not likely to repurchase. And that's all for today. Take care.